Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to take this picture and do an edit on it just using curves and gradients within masks. So first of all we're going to separate the sky and the land. So for this just go to the selection brush and paint down over here. Then go to the refine so that we can just tidy up these areas here. Oops. Yeah, that's better. And there's a bit up there. And a bit there. And something odd there. That'll do. Okay, so we'll apply that. Then to save this into the channel, so I go down here to pixel selection, right click and create spare channel, right click that and rename that, and call it sky. Now then, what I'm going to go to this one here, right click again and duplicate it. I can hit Control D, I don't need the marching ants. And for this one here, click on that and I can now edit it. So a simple Control I inverts it, and I can just rename that and call that one land. Right, now then, going back to here, I'm going to put in a whole bunch of curves here. And first of all, I can hit Curves for this. And this one's going to be for the sky, so I'm just going to call this one Sky. Which means I right-click the sky there and load to Sky Alpha. So this is going to apply just to the sky. And I'm going to bring this down to make it a bit darker. Often the skies, you don't want it all to be dark, it looks a bit too odd. So what I'm going to do is go to the mask here and put another mask onto it. So I apply this only to part of the sky, so I'm going to go to the gradient. And I've got it set for painting from white to black, so that if I paint on this mask here, then if I go from white down to black like that, then as you can see up here then it's keeping the effect up here and darkening it uh, sorry lo losing it down here which gives a consistent darkness but i'm not so sure i think i'll do that the other way up what this has done now is let kept it lighter up here and so it's going darker into the distance as if the storm is further away which means i can bring more sunlight up here more logically Right, so now then I can put on another curves. And this one's going to be for the land. I'm going to right click this and load to curves adjustment alpha there. And I'm going to hit Control J twice. And because I'm going to use those again for the land. And for the first one, I'm going to call this one horizontal. And you'll see why in a moment. Because what I'm going to do is going to put horizontally across here a contrast. So if I pull this one up here and pull this one down here, you can see the contrast here. But what you get is that contrast goes into the distance there. It's better to keep it in the foreground. But that's more logical. You don't see contrast so far into the future, into the distance like that. So what I'm going to do with that one then is put a mask on that and paint the gradient. No, from here across here. So I'm keeping the contrast here in the foreground here and just fading it off into the distance. Now the next one, call this one diagonal. And that's because I'm going to add more light onto this one. So I'm going to bring this one up. And this is for light here. But with the dark clouds over there, I don't want it light all the way down. I just want it here. So I'm going to get my gradient again, now going for again, painting from white to black, and paint it up like that. So the light is concentrated down here and just fades off into the distance like that. So, but in doing that, I painted on the diagonal there. Control Z to undo that, put in a mask, and do it again. So that's really quick and easy to put it in like that. There we go. So it doesn't apply 
into the sky at all. There you go, that's better. Now then, for the last one here, I'm just going to call this one Spot. Because this is going to add some spotlighting. Put on the mask. And pull the curves up here for to make things lighter, but we don't want it this bright. But I want to be able to manage this. So, on the mask, control i to invert it, and then can paint back using a paintbrush. Set this soft and opacity around about 25%. Bring up the brush size. So you can see moving around here, you can just see it appearing. So here I can paint on here. I can just make this add a bit more at the front and let it go backwards a bit. So the sun is more here. Then I can also paint on these, making the brush a bit smaller as I paint down, just to light up those a bit. Then I'm going to bring the opacity a bit more again, just to paint on these people here to bring them back in. So it's like to say the sun is on them again. Maybe that person in there. Maybe a bit of these guys down there. Just to lighten them up a bit. Right, so there we go. And we got before and after. Before and after. And see the way it pulls attention down here. This is now nice and bright, fading off into the darkness in the distance. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.